How to always case support, let's go. Okay, so I really wanted to use this shot to show how a lot of very brand new skaters start learning how to ollie and just to show a couple of things that I can point out. So I want you to watch the back foot. Notice that it's not the ankle moving, it's the whole foot pushing down. So when you're jumping, you really do jump from the ball of your foot, meaning you drop your ball of your foot and jump off of that part. Watch my back foot, boom. So I, I really do the motion of the jump with the back ankle. This is a thing that's not very well explained in skateboarding. Check this out. Check this shot. Back ankle, boom, then it jumps up. So you really have to drop that back ankle. Um, so that's very important because if you don't jump like that, you're actually counteracting the motion that you're going to try to do, and your back foot will literally hold the board to the ground, which is what's occurring here. We also need to work on that front foot scrape, um, but that's where people often they say, well, just drag your front foot up, drag your front foot up. And yes, you need to do that. So let's look at the front foot. You drag it up and then forward, up and then forward. And you have to rotate. If your sole is flat on the board, you'll never ollie. Your sole has to go at a 90 degree angle to the grip tape, as you can see right there. And the top part of your shoe, the suede part, is what drags up the grip tape. So you have to get that going, and that's how you're going to learn how to ollie. But again, back to your back foot, you have to drop that ankle, boom, just like that. There's a lot of power in your ankle. Those muscles, those ankle muscles, they do hold a lot of power. So dropping it like that will help out so, so much. I hope you guys are learning how to skate. We got everything you need at BrailleSkateboarding.com. Let's go.